Yes, people, how's it going? Hope you're all well today. So, another day in Athens, and today we thought we'd show you around our apartment. Now, the strange thing is, is that where we are located, it turns out it's one of the more rougher areas. So, the area that I'm referring to is called Omonia. Omonia, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. It's how it's, it's written here. And a lot of people say very negative things about the area. So if you were to type in, you know, places to avoid in Greece, that's one of them. <laughs> we are staying about a five minute walk away from that place, roughly about five minutes away. So we're tourists, obviously, we're not locals. And I can tell you for a fact, we were walking around this area late at night last night. And yes, there are a few dodgy people, hanging about, I won't, I won't deny that. But nobody gave us any problems. Nobody batted an eyelid, nobody came and hassled us or asked us for money or anything. In fact, we got more of that in the actual centre than we did here. And dare I say, we felt a little bit safer here than I did in the centre. Because in the centre, that's where all the pickpockets, all the scammers, all the things like that were operating. All the touts and stuff, so yeah. Don't always follow people's advice online because it might not necessarily be true. But at the same time, if you want to stay safe, be cautious as well. At the end of the day, we're just looking to save money on our holiday. So we're not fussy about where we stay. Within reason, obviously, we're not going to stay somewhere completely dangerous either. So with that in mind, let's have a look, a little look around our apartment and see what, uh, see what we've got for our money. So it's a very bright day, so I do apologize. But here's the bed, that's a nice, double bed probably even a bit bigger than double I'd say maybe maybe a king yeah it's huge very good to sleep on little drawer nice little place to store stuff plenty of yeah, plenty of storage space nice little telly nice little couch Tam's chin on <laughs> um, got the old yeah more storage got a little fridge for your needs some nice little decorations to feel homely the clock unfortunately is stuck at this time so uh, <laughs> I thought that it was uh, was confused when we got in I must admit but a uh, nice little table to have breakfast on which is very nice um, and then washing machine sink oven kettle all the things you need really you know plenty of storage space cups plates I'll put the uh, I'll put this place in the description uh, if you're interested in coming to visit see it for yourself there you go it's uh this is the address, and uh, that's the information. And yeah. Oh yeah, for warm water, make sure you turn on the water heater on the electric panel. So we had to work that one out. So just here, there's a little. So I mean, it's you know fairly clear water heater up. Turn that up, and it turns on the water heater. Got a little, you know, unit here just in case. Anyone wants to come and say hello? It's got a little bathroom. Again, all the mod cons. Hello, hope you're all well. <laughs> and a little little shower. Yeah, it was perfect. Exactly what we needed. And there's the water heater that I was telling you about. So interesting fact about toilets in Greece, by the way, is that toilets in Greece, you can't flush your toilet roll down the toilet. So if you've not been here before, do keep that in mind as well. Um, it's hard when you come from a country where you don't have to do that to remember, but we start getting the hang of it. We'll probably get back to the UK and be like, oh wait, no, we don't need to do this anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's, that's, that's more or less it for the apartment. So I can't remember how much this cost. I'll put it on the screen now, uh, but that's how much it cost. And it was, I feel very good value for money. Um, the area, okay, it's not the prettiest, you know, it's not the traditional Greece, but then it's got heart and character. Now, before we go on the little walking tour, I will warn you that there is a lot of graffiti and a lot of uh, abandoned buildings, or what seems to be abandoned. Now, the graffiti has context, believe it or not. So, the youth of Greece use graffiti as a way to protest against the government, from what I've heard and what I've you know, spoken to people about. It's a form of protest, and obviously, the more people that are upset with the situation they're in, the more people are gonna protest, the more people are gonna, you know, put their mark on the world and say, here are voices. So you may see the graffiti as simple vandalism, but actually it's a message. 
So try not to be too off put by the graffiti and try and see that it's simply a message. I don't speak much Greek, so I won't be able to understand the message, but there is a message there. So don't assume that it's graffiti and that it's, it's pure vandalism. It's more than that. It's, it's the disenfranchised youth trying to get their voice out there. And obviously some people would argue that's not the way to do it. But at the same time, you may live in a country where your voice is heard if you try and speak. So we can't all see everyone's situations. But with that all in mind, let's go and take a tour of the neighborhood and see what a rough area looks like in Athens. All right, people, so here we go. Leaving the neighborhood now. And this is what we have, typical view. It's just your normal everyday street. I just careful, Tam. Almost ran into a car there. <laughs> um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk and take a stroll over to Omonia or Omonia, I don't know how you say it. Um, the sunlight's right in my eyes there. Um, yeah, Tam, right? It's about, it's about half an hour, I think it's about half an hour away, so it's not five minutes away. I apologise. It's half an hour away. So, we're not right near it, but we're close enough that we had to walk it yesterday. Um, and, uh, you know, some people may be like, oh, don't have your camera out in this area, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. All right, so we are en route. I'm having to speak a bit louder because we've got a, quite a bit of traffic around here, but uh, yeah, so we're taking a stroll to Omonia, Omonia, I don't know what it's called. Um, and uh, we're gonna get a, uh, we're gonna get a closer look at what that area looks like. Um, and then you can decide for yourself what you think of, of uh, you know, the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the suburbs of Athens. Hopefully a green man will show. No, no green man. Great. Well, there you go. That's a typical traffic scene over in Athens. And I better just wait. All right, we're called to cross. <laughs> it wasn't that long a wait. I was expecting a while. The strange thing is about this road is that will turn green, but people will continue going around this corner here. It's very, very strange. There you go, watch this, look, ready, look. We're gonna go, look, it's green. These guys are gonna start turning round. There you go, look. <laughs> that is very confusing for an Englishman. I tell, let me tell you that for free. All right, so we push further into the streets and, uh, and further into the exploration. It's a very nice mural there. Very, very skilled. And uh, let's go and have a, have a wander down this street here. See what we've got. So this is yeah, the neighborhood we're staying in. I think it's called Kedim, Kedimikos. Kedimiko, Kedimikos. I do apologize. I did try and pronounce it last time, but as you may know on the channel, my pronunciation is not my strong point. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> if, I, uh, if anyone wants to correct me in the comments, please do feel free. I often have people come through and say, yeah, you, you got close, mate. <laughs> it's not bad, but you weren't there. The pronunciation is that. I remember um, uh, Scotland pronouncing everything wrong there. And very, very thankfully, my Scottish brothers and sisters were coming through, coming through for me and explaining what, how things were pronounced. Oh, you're crossing this way. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, some cool artwork, man. If you like the kind of, the cool kind of, you know, the more grungy kind of hip, hippie, hipster kind of vibe, you love it out here in these parts. This way. Just uh, stop there for a second, Sam. So yeah, as I say, when you get your average street tour in Greece, you probably ain't gonna get this. And that's because people are very inclined, and you know, some very nice places as well, obviously. People are very inclined on YouTube to obviously try and paint their holidays out to be these perfect, you know, flawless spectacles. And unfortunately, that's not the reality for the people that live in these places. That house is a very, very pretty building. <laughs> so, what I like about Greece, so the lifestyle here is very relaxed. It's very much kind of, let's take it easy, man. Let's take it slow. Let's have a coffee. 
let's relax. Let's just take each day as it comes. Everyone's very warm and friendly and caring and uh, hospitable. And, you know, I think the character of the city is very interesting for me because you've got the beauty of Athens, like, and literally it's a tram, a tram ride away. And then you've got the streets of Athens and it's a different story, but remember, the graffiti is a message. It's not necessarily pure vandalism. Some of it maybe. Some of it maybe just vandalism on top of a message, but some of it is a message too. You all right, Sam? Lost in Greece. That should be the title, shouldn't it? <laughs> Let's rock. So you're probably thinking, well, what don't you like about Greece there, Bobby? You're saying that you're gonna show two sides of the coin, but you're only talking about the good stuff that you like. What don't you like? Well, to be honest, I don't like the fact that within an hour of being here, I got robbed. That's probably fairly obvious. <laughs> I also don't like the fact that there are so many people who are sleeping rough, who are begging, who are having to do those things to make their money. And you have to ask yourself why. Now, I don't know a huge deal about Greece, but I do remember an economic collapse some years ago and I don't know if that's still ongoing, but I do know that that was felt by many for many years. And I would say Athens is a city of two hearts. You've got the heart of the, uh, the, ancient, the ancient side of things. And then you've got the poverty and the scarcity and the, uh, the anger towards the government. And... Uh, very little of that is documented on YouTube, except from maybe Greek YouTubers who are aware. But, um, you know, there's a story to be told in every city, whether it's a good or a bad one. You didn't think I was about to uh, capture all of the negative stuff and none of the positive. So have a look at that look. That beautiful building right there. I can't read what it says. My, uh, my knowledge of the Greek script is, uh, is lacking somewhat. But amongst the chaos, beauty is nestled. You've got this here, and then you've got this here. And it's so, so crazy to see such things for me. To turn around and see damaged buildings. And do you know what, what, what makes me sad about Greece as well, actually, is that it's such an ancient city. Aristotle, you know, the great thinkers of the world walked these paths and it's just become an area filled with graffiti. And now I can understand graffiti in the modern buildings. I, I get that. If you want to protest, if that's your only way of being heard. But don't do it to the ancient, beautiful buildings, man. You know, something should be left alone. Hello, Mila. Mila, Sandra. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. It's all right. 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 It's It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's yeah, we've only been learning Greek for two weeks, so I do apologise for that. So it's not very good. <laughs> but it's a very difficult language because uh, in England um, we say um, yes, uh, like, like yes is like yes, obviously. Then in Greece it's net, which is kind of similar to no. We take no. So it's quite confusing at first. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> people say got ourselves a little bit of breakfast along the way and uh, got a. One of these things here kind of reminds me a little bit of um what are they called um in uh in georgia um what's it called um i know the word hachapuri hachapuri we used to make them quite a lot but uh, hachapuri has like an egg in the middle and then obviously tommy's got a pizza so uh yeah let's give this a go mm. That dough is very similar to pizza dough. Can you just tear that for me so I can get a <laughs> camera in one hand? Mm. 
Here we go, people. Let's try and finish this mouthful. Oh, careful. Oh, I bet he's stuck. <laughs> Mmm! What a place to be eating as well. Not right in the hustle and bustle. So it just goes to show that if you go off the beaten trail and go and support some of the local businesses in the area rather than the tourist businesses because they're getting enough they're getting enough business. Go and support some of the local businesses and uh, you'll get a great experience. Like but I think like primarily look how friendly the Greeks are. One thing that's really surprised me as well about Athens is just how many like shops there are that cater to like Asian food and Asian brands and Pakistani as well actually. I met some Pakistani people along the way. I love Pakistan. I've got some good friends in uh, Karachi and they're great people. I would love to visit Pakistan one day so hoping to visit eventually. <laughs> um, so yeah so far so good but Going back to what I was saying about the messages in the graffiti, here's a great example of that. Boulders only exist in the heads of the humans. I don't know what that means, but it's a very, very uh, interesting saying. So we're about 10 minutes away from the uh, infamous Amonia, and uh, let's go and see what it's like for ourselves. So doing research, basically, um, a lot of people say that the, re the, the issue with Omonia or Omonia again pronunciation is not very good <laughs> on this channel it's not one thing <laughs> that I, I, I claim to be good at but one of the issues with um, with this particular place is that there's a lot of people coming through from different uh, countries and basically what's happened is there's a war between these different people these factions I guess you could almost say for uh, for like illicit trade so selling you know selling things they shouldn't be selling um can't really say on youtube obviously they won't like that but selling things they shouldn't be selling and then there's almost like a turf war between these different nations or factions and uh for who gets to sell the most of said thing <laughs> and uh as a result that ends up becoming quite violent sometimes uh and it can lead to lead to a lot of bloodshed and a lot of uh a lot of people being caught in the crossfire including tourists occasionally so uh yeah make of that what you will but i'll tell you this for free we walked around here at 10 p.m last night when it was pitch black and all the shutters here were down and not one person bothered us it was very very fine no problems at all here we go people i'm on here we've made it well i'm only here I'm going to blast them on. But we're here, so let's have a look around. And uh, to be honest, like, so people will say, like, that you can't walk around this place at night. But we did. And it was just like this, actually, wasn't it, Sam? It was bustling, bustling, full of people. I very highly doubt that, you know, someone could, you know, come and attack or harass you here it's just, just simply so many people and I've also heard that the uh, the people like of Greece you know they're quite a, well, the majority of people actually get on well with the tourists which is strange because that's quite rare <laughs> a lot of people hate tourists which I understand um, but it is what it is you know so obviously if someone was to cause problems you could shout out for help and somebody would probably come and help you but the chances of that happening pretty sparse and I've lost I was gonna say I've lost Tam <laughs> can you just check that pocket for uh, my lens cleaner nope I've lost my lens no no I haven't it's punched oh I keep misplacing things my phone wasn't misplaced before nice. you asked like this. it's nice what are people talking about this is lovely this is energy this is... look at that water fountain I don't need you can see, tree. and there's a Christmas tree. How cool is that? How random. <laughs> there's a Christmas tree. Um, so when you go onto uh, 
Uh, sorry, Tom, can you hold this, please, love? <laughs> I'll, ta I'll take it in turns here. So we've got, we've got a big old bag we're trying to lug between us. And I can't film with it in my hands because I'm lopsided. So um, when, uh, when you research where you shouldn't go or what you shouldn't do at night, this will be the place that inevitably comes up. Now, I don't know about you, Tam, but to me this reminds me a lot of London. <laughs> so if, if this is, the, if this, I guess this is great, dangerous by Greek standards, I guess, as opposed to English standards. Because uh, I can tell you for free that this is not somewhere that I would be, I do need some sunglasses, yeah. Where? All right. Uh, it's getting over the road, that's the problem. So we're still facing that same age-old issue in Greece where when we, um, when we try and cross the road, when the, guy, when the little guy or the little woman or whatever, where the little person symbol turns green the, green, the green man, they call it the green man, but I'm not sure we can call it that anymore. But the green person, we'll call it for now, don't want to get told off on YouTube. Um, that, um, when that turns green, in England, obviously, you stop and the, you, you, know, you walk, the car stops. In Greece, however, you walk and some of the cars still continue going. And that is something that is very hard to adjust to for me. But yeah, so a little tour of uh, what is apparently uh, one of the more sketchier neighborhoods. Now, I don't know about, again, Tam, I could, I could be getting my wires crossed here. But if you drop me here right now and turn these signs into English, well, actually a lot of them are in English, so yeah, if you drop me here right now, I'd believe I was in London. Put me here blindfolded. The weather may may lead me to believe otherwise. Oh, we've got some glasses here, I do need some. But I don't have a price. It's sketchy when things don't have a price label, e even in the cheaper areas. So obviously naturally, like being in the, uh, out, out of the uh, tourist trap, things are a lot cheaper. That um, breakfast, as you saw, cost us £6.80, or €6.80, which is, I'll put the conversions on the screen now. <laughs> oh, blimey. But you do have to be very careful of the old uh, the old footing when you're walking about. Oh, some nice pastries, Tam. But yeah, this is a little uh, a shopping centre. And again, it really does. It reminds me a little bit of London. It's hard to explain why or how, but when you break out the tourist areas of London, this is very much what it looks like, in my opinion. You know what I mean? A lot of these kind of small independent shops a lot cheaper than they are in the center of the city i'll tell you what as well right people often say oh london's so expensive when i go ab abroad oh london i've been there before it's so expensive i'm like well if you're going to the tourist areas yeah i mean i can get a, like a free course meal for 60 quid <laughs> if i look hard enough in fact there's places you can get food for completely free they give away food you know re food recycling projects and stuff so yeah. So obviously a lot of people would just come and visit the islands and that's that, but yeah, this is it people. So we're going to do a little bit more, I guess, and see if there's anything interesting. And So we've stopped off here for a little bit of lunch and we're going to probably close off the video from here. Uh, if you're curious, we've got a uh, cinnamon kind of twist. Very nice. Mmm. It's light on cinnamon, but Still a really nice flavour, very sweet. We've also got a... Uh, maybe we can make that out. There you go, it's like a... It's pie, it's like a Fido pie. It's filled with like a cream filling. And then we've also got two uh, drinks. These are called Looks. And uh, I must uh, correct myself. So I've been saying Kali Sumida to say thank you, uh, to say have a good day. That's not correct. That's not how you say it. Um, I'm not sure where I got that from or why I thought that, but sometimes you're going to get incorrect information when you try and learn a new language. But um, the best thing to do is ask the locals. But I spoke to this very lovely lady over here who owns this place, and uh, she we got talking and uh, we spoke about Greece and stuff. And uh, yeah, everyone's so friendly, having a great time. This is uh, six euros for all this, so we're going to enjoy this, and then we're going to go and catch our flight to our new city. So keep your eyes on that new place new country and a new continent so uh do join us for that and we thank you for our you know for, for watching our video we hope you've had a great day and uh, we'll catch you very soon take care people